So right after the launch of Intel's new Alder Lake CPUs that was last week, Activision released their latest Call of Duty game, Vanguard. And as this should be one of the more popular games in the coming weeks, in the coming months, I thought it would be really fun to see how this game performs on this brand new platform. But since Vanguard uses the same engine as Modern Warfare and Warzone, it actually ended up having the exact same stutter issues and frame drops from before that made this game also unplayable for many gamers including myself. So, if you are having performance issues with the newest Call of Duty game, please do keep on watching because we're going to see what might be causing this, uh, what can you do to fix it, and what this fix could do to your FPS on both an Intel and an AMD platform. Let's begin. This video is brought to you by Seasonic and their Prime Series power supplies. These top quality power supplies are very efficient, they're whisper quiet, extremely reliable, and my go-to choice for most of my test rigs and builds around here. And to make the deal even sweeter, Seasonic wraps it all up in a cozy 12-year-long warranty. Check them out using the links in the description below. I already made a similar video last year when AMD just launched their Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. You can actually check the whole video out later. I will leave a link in the description down below. And what happened then is that uh, these new Ryzen CPUs were actually performing quite poorly in Warzone compared to Intel processors, while they would typically outperform them in many other games. So the frame rates were much lower than you would expect to see, and the game would just constantly have these very horrible stutters that would make it unplayable. And it would do that while showing the packet loss symbol in game. So I would guess the first thing you would think is that you're probably having a lag spike or or some sort of connection issue, but that often wasn't the case. Now, tweaking a few settings that are hidden in system files actually fix this issue, at least for me. So if you go to your PC's documents folder, then the relevant Call of Duty game folder, and then you go to players, you can find and open the advanced options any file. And there you'll find the option called renderer worker count, uh, which is the number of CPU threads that are used to handle the game's job queue. So what I found out last year with Warzone is that if that number was set too high, the game would regularly show this horrible random stutters all the time on some systems. So not on all of them, but a fair lot. So on my AMD Ryzen 5 5600X system, the game was having these huge issues uh, at the default setting of 12, but changing it to six actually fixed those problems and improved the frame rates by a lot. And on the Intel i5 11600K system back then, which didn't have any stutters and actually seemed completely fine and playable without any hiccups, changing the setting from the default nine down to six actually improved FPS significantly. Now, a lot of people tried it and for some it helped to lower the number, but for others with the older CPU, for example, the default setting was often set quite low and you could improve your FPS by raising it a bit. So. The results were not the same for everyone because everybody has a different system pretty much, but playing with that number in Warzone did fix the issue for a lot of people out there. So let's see what happens in Vanguard. I'm using a bit more of a mid-range Alder Lake system here uh, with an i5-12600K on a Gigabyte Z690UD motherboard with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a Cooler Master air cooler. Now for testing purposes only, I did use a very non mid range and very expensive RTX 3090 Supreme X from MSI though, because you do want your GPU to be as strong as possible when looking at CPU performance, right? But do keep in mind that this fix affects systems with all kinds of graphics cards, not just high-end ones. So after installing Vanguard on this clean installation of the Windows 11, it showed the exact same issues I saw last year with Warzone. So it seemed mostly fine if you're playing the single player campaign, but in most multiplayer modes, I kept getting those frequent stutters, uh, packet burst messages, and just, I would say, a very poor experience overall. And of course, when you're having an issue in any game, you start with those very simple solutions first, right? So you need to make sure that everything is up to date, including your game, including your graphics card drivers, including your operating system, but also your hardware. So checking if your BIOS has an update can go a long way as well. 
So let's see what happens when we change the renderer worker count. So let's go to documents, Call of Duty Vanguard and find and open the exact same advanced options in a file. Now the file itself does look a bit different. Uh, in Modern Warfare it just had three options, while in Vanguard you have a lot more settings, including some of those that you can change in game as well. And now it even explains what some of these settings do which is kind of nice to see. And if we look at the renderer worker count, uh, you can see that the default number here is nine. So I set it to six, I saved and I closed this file. I started a game and yeah, there were no stutters or lag spikes anymore and the game was just running smoothly. Now dropping below six seemed completely fine as well, but with the setting on eight or higher, the issues would instantly return. But let's see if it had any impact on FPS. So I tested it on medium settings on both 1080p and 1440p resolution. And I also tested different worker counts in steps of two, starting at two and going up to 12, plus the default setting of nine. So when we look at the results on 1080p, none of them actually look bad. With the worker count set to two and four, the average FPS is slightly lower than when testing at six or higher, but the differences are tiny. The 1% lows, however, look better on six or lower, and I would say those are generally more important in a competitive game. But I would say there is only a 10% difference on already excellent frame rates of more than 200. Unlike with the systems I used for Warzone last year, where you can actually see a lower FPS during those lag spikes, in Vanguard, the engine keeps pushing out high frame rates even when spiking. So even though the graphs look okay, the gameplay itself might not be. Either way, I would say six seems to be the right setting for the 12600K as that gives you a smooth gameplay and shows a good result in both average FPS and 1% lows, or at least on this system. On 1440p, the FPS difference seems smaller. Uh, average FPS is pretty much the same, going up from two all the way up to 12. And even the 1% lows seem really close to each other with a slight advantage to the lower settings. But again, only the setting of six or lower will allow the game to run smoothly without the stutters and lag spikes. Again, at least on this system. So let's see how Vanguard did on an AMD Ryzen system. And I have a Ryzen 7 5800X in an ROG Dark Hero motherboard with 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro SL memory and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Founders Edition graphics card. So to be clear, this is not a comparison between the FPS results of Intel and AMD as these are completely different systems. Uh, this is just about the worker count setting on two different setups. So please don't compare these results to each other. And as you can see, after a clean install, the worker count here seems to be set to eight by default. Now, the good news is that on this Ryzen 7 systems, I couldn't see any stutters in that setting, nor even on higher or lower settings. However, there are some differences in frame rates. On 1080p, while the average frame rate seemed to be unaffected, the 1% lows do drop with a setting above eight. Now, some people, myself included, thought that this setting should probably match the number of cores that your CPU has. But even on this eight core CPU, the optimal setting seems to be yet again six, with slightly higher 10% and 1% lows than on other settings. On 1440p, there are still small differences between them, uh, but they're actually small enough that you probably wouldn't notice them while playing, unless your system had those stutters and those lag spikes, of course. So basically what all this means is exactly what I said before. So this setting can have a huge impact on your game performance, but it will totally vary depending on your exact configuration. So if you are having these same stutter issues, it is likely that you will be able to fix those by playing around with this uh, renderer worker count setting. And even if you don't, you might find out that you can use it to boost your FPS. However, you will need to experiment with it yourself and just see what setting works best for you. Now you can monitor your FPS either using in-game options if you like, but I would definitely recommend using NVIDIA's FrameView applications, which is uh, free to download. It is just much easier to use and it gives you more details, I would say. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I hope that this was helpful to some of you. And please definitely let me know in the comments down below if you tried this fix and what were your results. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.